Welcome to Tough Dogs Training Program, where you're going to learn everything you need to know about suspension and how we at Tough Dog have designed our product to best suit the needs of four-wheel drivers right around the world. In this module, we're talking about the differences in the range of Tough Dog shock absorbers. The simplest and most basic shock absorber on the market is a nitrogen gas charge shock. We use the nitrogen gas in the shock absorber to keep the hydraulic oil under pressure and this reduces oil aeration when the shock absorber is working hard and reduces shock fade. At Tough Dog, our nitrogen gas charge shocks come in a 35mm bore size, which is the smallest bore size we offer, and these are best suited to lighter weight vehicles and light duty applications. Our most popular product is our Tough Dog foam cell range of shock absorbers. The foam cell in a foam cell shock absorber is exactly what it sounds like. It's a piece of high density foam inserted in the shock body and this piece of foam is impregnated with nitrogen gas bubbles when it's made. The gas is then trapped in these bubbles and so it cannot mix with the oil, which avoids what is commonly known as aeration or shock fade. Now the foam cell is located between the inner and the outer tubes and wraps right around the body of the shock from top to bottom. The foam cell is made by pressure injecting nitrogen gas into the foam in large sheets and then cut to size for the specific body of the shock. By eliminating the possibility of shock fade through aeration, only heat is left to affect the performance of the shock. The foam cell range dissipates heat effectively through their large oil volume contained within the 41mm internal bore and the huge 60mm outer tube. For more information, check out the Tough Dog Anatomy video on foam cell shocks in the link below. As the demands on the vehicle change, in some cases it can be helpful to change the valving in the shock absorber. For this reason, we offer a nine stage externally adjustable shock in both a 40mm internal diameter and a huge 45mm internal diameter for some applications. The shocks have an adjustment knob located at the foot of the shock and turning this knob adjusts the flow of oil through the foot valve of the shock and can be set to one of nine levels of firmness. Because the adjustment is made at the foot valve, the adjustment predominantly affects the rebound stroke of the shock. As this is the direction of travel that the shock is working the hardest in, this makes the adjustment the most effective. The 40mm shock is very similar in its non-adjustable foam cell cousin and has an 18mm piston rod, a 40mm internal diameter and a 60mm external diameter. The 45mm on the other hand comes in an enormous 22mm piston rod 45mm internal casing and a 70mm external casing, which allows a staggering quantity of oil to be carried, making it suitable for even the heaviest live axle four-wheel drives. Both sizes come equipped with our foam cell technology. Tough Dog's range of big bore shocks are designed for heavy duty applications on a select range of four-wheel drives. These shocks were originally designed for prime movers, but our R&D team revalved the shocks to suit the lighter four-wheel drive vehicles. The result, of course, is a shock that's almost never working hard, regardless of the terrain at hand. The 53mm shocks are a hydraulic style shock, meaning they're not under positive pressure and resist shock fade through sheer size and oil volume. Originally, Ralph shocks were designed for high kilometre usage, designed with stamina in mind. The Tough Dog range of shocks mean that no matter how a full drive is going to be used, we have a shock that will suit. For more information on selecting the right one for your four-wheel drive, see our suspension selection training video.